In this lesson, I'm going to talk about the uh, three uh, properties of limits. Okay, so first, before we start, we're gonna we have some values that we need to declare. So uh, we're gonna let b and c belong to the set of real numbers. Okay, so that's the r that you see there. Okay, and let n belong to the set of rational numbers. So q is the symbol they use for uh, describing the set of rational numbers. Okay, so for example, like uh, one half uh, minus three halves, uh, even the integers are considered to be rational because you can divide you can divide an integer by one and therefore it's in rational form. Okay, so the first one is that the limit. Okay, so the limit of a constant uh, for whatever x is approaching is always going to be that constant. Okay, so an example would be something like this. So let, if you have the limit as x is approaching five, and let's say the constant function is, let's say pi, okay? Then uh, this is gonna give us the value of pi, okay? All right, so even if the limit was, let's say the limit of pi is x, as x is approaching negative five, it will still be pi. Uh, because you can think of this as y equals to pi. All right, it's a it's a uh, it's a constant function. Okay, so whatever x is, it's going to be that value. Okay, it's going to be the value of the constant. Okay. The next one is saying simply saying that if we have this, if we have just have x, okay, then we can and if x is approaching c, then we can replace the x with that c value. Okay. So it's a, a very simple type of direct substitution. Okay, so an example of this would be, let's say the limit as x approaches, uh, let's say two of x, then simply this is just gonna be two, okay? Pretty straightforward, okay? The next one is if you have uh, the limit as x to the n, as x approaches c, again, replacing x with c, you're gonna get c to the n. Okay, so this is another straightforward uh, direct substitution. So an example with this would be something like, let's say x approaches, um, let's say four, and let's say this is to the x squared, or x to the power two, then we get four squared, which is 16, okay? Um, we can also have something like this, the limit let's say as x approaches four of x to the one half. So x to the one half, that is just the same as square root of x. Okay, so we can replace this by, we can replace the x with four. So we end up getting two, okay? So those are the three uh, basic properties of limits. And then from here, uh, we can build on some more, we can, work with more complicated functions, okay? But these are the, these are the three uh, uh, properties, okay? These are the founding blocks, all right? 